Now you remember that the Space Shuttle Challenger um, blew up in an explosion that involved hydrogen and oxygen. And what we have here, thank you Professor Armstrong, is some bottles that are filled with different mixtures of hydrogen and oxygen. And so the first bottle that I'm going to explode is a mixture which contains twice as much oxygen as hydrogen. Now the chemical reaction is actually two hydrogens and one oxygen produces two waters. Because that's the way all the, the chemical bonds are rearranged and nothing's left over. And so if I have twice as much oxygen as hydrogen, that's not the optimum mixture. Right? So why do you label it green? Well, because all the wimpy explosions are green. <laughs> so, let's see. I need some of these sticks. And you, the audience, are going to be able to tell the difference between the two-to-one mixture of hydrogen and oxygen and other types of mixtures. So let me get my flame here ready. And we'll just see. Oh! That was okay, but it didn't even blow out the stick. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is an equal mixture of hydrogen and oxygen, so we're a little bit better, and so we should produce a, a louder explosion. of hydrogen to oxygen, and so it should produce the loudest, loudest explosion. And I'm going to get a longer stick. Are you ready? Here we go. Fortunately for everybody, the space shuttle is built by engineers, and they're smarter than chemists, and they know that if what you really want to do is have about a six or seven to one mixture of hydrogen to oxygen. And engineers know that what you really want to do to get the most thrust is to throw stuff out the, the exhaust nozzle as fast as you possibly can using the available energy. And so you want to throw out mostly unburned hydrogens. So when you look at the main blue um, flame on the bottom of the space shuttle, it, it's blue because the space shuttle is throwing out mostly unburned hydrogen, which then burns in the atmosphere. So in honor of the space shuttle, I made one more mixture with a six to one ratio of hydrogen to oxygen. And this one I'm gonna do upside down. <laughs> 